these are the books that I'm using. I use also uh, Rosetta Stone sometimes. I don't really like Rosetta Stone like that, but sometimes. Um, I definitely use Pimsleur and um, Michelle Thomas. But here I have the books that I'm using. These are different resources here. Um, we have Michelle Thomas, Michelle Thomas Method. This here is a course catalog. Course catalog. Um, yeah, this is a course catalog here. Shows uh, different books here. Arabic, Mandarin, Chinese, Russian, Dutch, Portuguese, Greek. Portuguese, this is European, this is not Brazilian. This is European Portuguese. Uh, Greek, Polish, Japanese, French, um, Italian, German, and Spanish. They, lots of people are saying that uh, his best courses were French and Spanish. Everything else is okay, you can use it, but the best courses that he do have out, indeed, Spanish and uh, French. There you go. We have Teach Yourself, 2009 catalog, Teach Yourself, you know. You heard a lot about teach yourself from um, how to learn any language form. You have teach yourself beginners French, beginners Spanish, beginners Mandarin Chinese, beginners Italian, and beginners German. We have uh, these here are starter kits. As you can see, starter kits. Um, also. I can find it. Complete courses. I can find this. Complete courses. These are if you if you're gonna go pick up any teach yourself book, you want to pick up the complete course. Complete course come with usually two audio discs, if not one. But um, the teach yourself method is really good. You have Estonian, French, uh, German. Here we have Italian, Spanish. This Spanish here is not Latin American Spanish, but this is European Spanish, spoken in Spain. Polish, I picked up these books here. Teach Yourself Brazilian Portuguese, Teach Yourself Latin American Spanish, and Teach Yourself Tagalog, right there. Teach Yourself Tagalog, and also Teach Yourself German. This book is pretty thick. Comes with two audio courses, uh, two audio discs. That is, um, you know, we have just regular dialogues, and this here is chapter three. I think one of the chapters I stopped on. I have to go back. Um, we have teach yourself Brazilian Portuguese. This here also comes with two audio discs. I put a lot of work and time into this book here. As you can see, lots of time and lots of work. There we go. Grammar terms and everything like that. To uh, dialogues and um, different verbs and conjugating verbs and such. There's lots of time into this book. Pretty, pretty, pretty good book too. I'd recommend it if you're learning on um, Portuguese. Pretty good book. And then. Let's see here, we have Teach Yourself Latin American Spanish, right here, Latin American Spanish, Teach Yourself Latin American Spanish, another good book here, I haven't used it yet, but I will be getting there pretty soon, pretty soon I will be getting there, there's a Latin American Spanish, and then I have here, Teach Yourself Tagalog. This is a Teach Yourself Tagalog book. This here is a pretty, pretty thick book also. Comes with um, two audio CDs. Uh, what you do, you know, you look at the dialogue, uh, repeat the dialogue, rewrite the dialogue. A um, couple of exercises here, as you can see. And um, that's what I have for Teach Yourself. This is the Teach Yourself series I have. Tagalog. Um, Latin American Spanish, zoom back out, Latin American Spanish, 
the teacher stuff Brazilian Portuguese, as you can see, and the teacher stuff German. That's what I have for now. That's it for the teacher stuff series. Then we have here the making out in Tagalog. This here is just a little simple phrase book, very thin, not too big, really simple. You can use it while you're in um, the Philippines or so. Really simple phrase book with you know just just the everyday phrase that you might hear, as you can see here. Really, really tiny book. You can pick this up and also on Italian. What is it? Italian, um, I believe French, Japanese, and maybe Spanish. I'm not too sure. Then we have here the Lonely Planet phrase books right here. Filipino, Thai. Latin American Spanish, German and Brazilian Portuguese. The phrase books are really good. You heard lots about them already. So I'm using Thai, Latin American Spanish, phrase book, German, and the Brazilian Portuguese. These here all come with um, tiny dictionaries in the back. Not too many words, but English to the language, the target language, and the target language to English. Pretty good. This is the Thai. Different, um, uh, comparing things here. Different things. Uh, describing the future, genders, and such. Pretty good. All right, next we have the Everything Learning Brazilian Portuguese book. You can pick this up in a few other languages. I think Russian, French, Latin American Spanish, and a few others. I'm not too sure. It's a pretty good book. I haven't got to it yet. Actually, I did the first three chapters, but um, since I'm using teacher stuff right now, I, I this book here is on hold. But it's pretty good. Really good. Next, we have here the Basic Tagalog. Basic Tagalog book. This here is a pretty good book for um, people looking to learn Tagalog also. Comes with an audio discs. Well, two, I believe. Yeah, two audio discs here. And this here is a pretty, pretty decent book. Let's see here. You have um, lots of expression, common expressions, and many other things that the book you know teaches you. Pretty good book. And that's it for the resource video, my first video. I'm just showing you different books that I'm using, along with um, audio courses like Pimsleur and uh, Michelle Thomas. Those courses are pretty good. Um, I would definitely, if I, you know, if you're looking to learn these languages, pick up, go ahead and pick up an audio course along with the book. Either ask email, teach yourself, or any other credible books that's out there this is it the uh, phrase books here and that's that